What's up everybody, Clarence King here. Thanks for tuning in for another video. This travel talk is all about rainwater and how it affects your pool. It can do a lot of things to your pool, uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So how do you know if you've had too much rainwater? Well, the first sign is look at your skimmer box. You know that big square in the side of the wall of your pool where all the water gets sucked in? The ideal level is halfway up. That'll allow the water to get drawn in uh, to go through the filter system and all that. The top two inches of water contain the majority, like 90% of the contaminants in the entire pool in those two inches. So we need that skimmer to be working properly. If you get too much rainwater to where it starts getting to two thirds of, of the skimmer or completely covering the skimmer, the skimmer is not allowed to do its thing. And if it keeps going, it could overflow onto your deck and saturate your deck. And we don't want that either. So. As, as the water level climbs, as we're talking about what happens there. Well, that skimmer is not able to suck debris in like it normally would. So then you're going to start getting a, a larger accumulation of debris on the floor of your pool because leaves, certain types of leaves and grass, they have a saturation index of like three or four hours where it'll float for a couple hours. But if it doesn't get drawn in that skimmer, it's going to sink to the floor. So now you have more debris on your floor to clean up. Uh, you, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to have dirtier water in your pool because it's not being sucked through the skimmer to be sanitized and, and returned to the pool as, as clean water. So those are a couple things there. How does rainwater affect your chemistry? Well, with chlorine, it's going to lower it because whatever the rainwater brings in the pool, that chlorine is going to try to attack it and use itself up on whatever that rainwater brings, plus just a simple addition of the rainwater is going to lower it because it's diluting the chlorine. With the pH, it's going to either raise or lower it. How does it do that? Well, it depends. Is the rain acidic or is the rain a basic rain? Um, you know, again, acidic and basic is on the pH scale. Acidic's below seven, basic's above seven. So it depends on what type of rain it is and how it affects your pH. Same thing with alkalinity because they go sort of hand in hand. Calcium hardness, it's going to lower it. Stabilizer, it's going to lower it. Salt, it's going to lower it. So, you know, those are all things to think about. Uh, if you're starting to get a lot of rain, you got to stay on top of those things so your pool doesn't go south. Uh, the question I get a lot, does rainwater bring phosphates? Not in and of itself, but it can in other ways. Here's an example. Say you're giving your dog a bath on the deck. That dog shampoo uh, has phosphonic acid in it. So you do your thing with the dog, you bathe them or her, and then you rinse the dog off on the deck, all the suds and everything just sort of settle there on the deck. You get a rainstorm later that afternoon. All that stuff gets washed in the pool. Well, guess what? That phosphonic acid transforms into phosphates and now your pool has phosphates. So that's one way that uh, your pool can get phosphates from rainwater. Let's see, what else? Uh, it can wash other dirt and debris on into your pool from your deck um, or your roof. Like I've seen some uh, gutterless roofs, you know, the water just drips off the roof into the deck, uh, into the pool, excuse me, causing issues there. For pools that have screen enclosures, two things can happen during pollen season, you know, when it all sits on top of, of uh, the screen enclosure, the rain will push the little pieces of pollen through the screen and into the pool and you start seeing all this black peppery type of debris in your pool. That's pollen that got pushed through the screen. Another thing that can happen with screen enclosures is say your screen enclosure has algae along the top of, you know, that hangs over the pool. Well, when the rainwater passes it, it's bringing some algae spores into the pool. It won't, it, can't, it won't necessarily cause an algae bloom, but it's setting up the atmosphere for that to happen if you're not staying on top of your chlorine. So stay, stay in tune with that as well. You know, a good pressure washing will take care of that and keep that from happening. Uh, another thing it could do, cause stains indirectly. And what I mean by that is it could wash, if you get your yard treated with uh, lawn chemicals and it gets washed in the pool, uh, that could definitely happen. You know, case in point, very early in my pool career, I had a, a client accusing me of staining her pool. And so what it looked like was in the deep end, it was a V, like just to the right of her light, it was a V of this iron stain. 
And so I asked her, I said, uh, ma'am, are you getting your yard treated with lawn chemicals? Oh, yes, I am, of course. I knew that because the pool was uh, green. I'm, I'm sorry, the grass was green. And I said, well, I guarantee you it's, it's the runoff from the rain because you could see right there too, the deck was sort of caved in uh, and the grass and everything else is above grade of the pool. So I was telling her, I said, watch, next time it rains, watch to see and I bet you'll see runoff there and sure enough about a week or two later she called and said you know what you're right I sat there and watched the rain run from the grass onto the deck and into the pool and that's why it's causing that v-shaped stain because there's a large amount of water going down and it just kept the, all the insecticide and stuff was diluting as it's getting towards the bottom creating that v so case in point rainwater can indirectly cause stains in your pool as well Another thing that I deal with yearly with clients is it can help disguise a pool that's leaking. You know, during the rainy time of year, which us is the summertime here in Florida, uh, I'll often battle with clients that their pool's leaking. They're like, no, it's not. Look at the water. It's been great for the last several weeks. Well, sir, it's been a monsoon for the last three weeks. Of course it's fine. And then sure enough, when the rain stops, the pool's you know, water starts um, lowering. I say, look, you got a leak, and sure enough, you know, they do the leak detection, they find out they have a leak. So that's one thing you'll have to deal with too as a pool company is play, put your detective hat on and pay attention to all these things that I'm talking about in this video because all these things can happen during the rainy times of year. So I really hope these, this video helped you guys explain a little bit about rainwater and I uh, hope you guys like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day. Thank you.